Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be going over the final editions. I'm sorry this is a bit late. Uh, I've uh, been busy with a few things, and uh, bad weather, and school closing, and all that different crap. Uh, having me drive to school and then driving back, and it was just crazy. Uh, so let's get into this. You can see I'm grinding towards uh, Mutt Master. Uh, 6 and 0. Uh, what am I? I played 2 and whatever the 6 into this season. Uh, and I've lost one game, and it had to be in the Super Bowl, so I lost out on a badge pack, which would have given me a legacy key or a... Well, let's just be honest, it wouldn't have given me a legacy collectible. Let, let's just... Let's be... Let's be honest here. But, you know, if I could have won that stupid game and not choked... Oh, it's in the warehouse. Uh, I would have had enough to get a legacy collectible since I'm at 9 out of 10. I think I have some, I think I opened some, I might be able to throw one in there, I don't know. But I don't even really care to open them right now because I need 5 anyway, so there's no point. Uh, but I spent, I don't know why I did it, but I bought the elite badges I needed because I've guaranteed myself Mutt Master here probably in the next week or two or three. Three at the max. Uh, and it might be four if I happen to pull dupe collectibles. Uh, but anybody who has collectibles and they're not going to be doing Mutt Master, hit me up on Twitter. I'll try to remember your name so you can help me out uh, if I need any of the collectibles. But let's get into the final editions, the more important part of this video. Stop me from rambling on. Veteran packs expire in 17 minutes. Uh, but solo challenge is here. The new solo challenge for it is right here. It's Brent Grimes. It's the card. You get 3,000 coins. Uh, if I didn't have to play head-to-head, -head, I'd play all these solos because they're actually not bad for coins. 3,000 is not terrible. Uh, but we'll get into the set here. Uh, it's the same as last week's uh, for the Alshon Jeffrey. Uh, you put in five gold badges, the, car the four cards and packs, and the collectible from the solo challenge. You can see the five gold badges. The final edition, Brent Grimes collectible, and then the five players. So we'll start off with uh, Keenan Robinson here. He is currently going for uh, 7K, so not too bad there. Uh, he's a middle linebacker, uh, 87 speed, 86 awareness, 84 strength, 94 tackle, 85 play recognition, 86 block shed, 94 pursuit, and 77 zone coverage. Take a quick look at his uh, jumping and ca oh, 52 catching. Uh, 90 jumping, okay, not bad there, but that 52 catching, oh my god, I don't know if I could play him as middle linebacker, because my middle linebackers make a ton of picks, uh, but next is Stedman Bailey, I actually thought about picking this card up, I uh, probably will when I get done with Mutt Master, uh, just throw that back there on uh, returns, and uh, just have him out there every once in a while, because uh, I like Stedman Bailey when he was at West Virginia, so... Let's get into this though. Only 94 speed, but not too not too bad. But 94 speed, uh, 87 awareness, 89 catching, 87 elusiveness, 93 spec catch, 89 release, 84 route running, 86 catch in traffic. Let's see. Carrying's a 75, so you could use them on some jet sweeps. That's what I tend to do with Devin Hester. But you could do this with Sed Sedman Bailey, so it wouldn't be a big deal. Uh, kick return is an 85. I would have liked to see that be a little bit higher, but not too bad for an 88 overall card. Who you, Most people who are going to use them are going to use them at wide receiver, so that's totally understandable. Uh, next is the Barry Church. Uh, I don't know why they did. I don't know why they did this. They put them backwards. They should have, you know, they should have flipped all these, and John Sullivan should have been the last going this way because this is the or in order of the overalls. Uh, but let's get into this. Uh, Barry Church is oh, 48k. Okay, so Barry Church has got some value, but uh, he is 90 overall free safety, uh, 92 speed, 93 acceleration, 84 play rack, 80 tackle, 68 man, 90 zone. So his zone is on par with a lot of the with the strong safeties. Not as much with the freeze, but with the strongs, his zone is right on target because some of the strong safeties have some pretty crap zone coverage. Like Troy Palomalu. That 98 Troy Palomalu, that dude has some ass zone coverage. Let's just be honest. For a 98 overall, let's be honest. His, his zone is terrible. Uh, but 87 pursuit, 92 hit power. Uh, what's his catching looking like? 63 catching. All right. Well, I thought, though, that whatever 
Taylor Mays' catching was terrible, but that dude catches balls in head to head. So I'm not. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bash Barry Church for having that 63 catching until I try him out, which I probably will never try him out. Uh, and then finally we got the John Sullivan. Then we'll go take a look at the Brent Grimes on the auction. See how good he's looking. See how he stacks up against some of the other corners. Uh, but 92 overall, John Sullivan. Uh, 90 strength, 93 awareness, 64 agility, 62 speed, 80 acceleration, 96 run block, uh, 87 pass block, pass block, and 97 impact blocking. I'm not gonna go into the depth chart stats for the center because there's only like two stats you need to look at in the depth chart, and they're not that important. So uh, the main thing is that pass block being an 87. That's kind of low. The run block is nice, but that pass block makes him almost unusable compared to some of the other centers. And then let's go take a look at this Brent Grimes. There weren't so many dang corners out that I liked. You know, I wouldn't I'd be able to buy some of these new corners that come out, but we had to make a legend version of D'Angelo Hall. You know, he could have saved me and uh, freed up another spot by not making that legend D'Angelo Hall. But, you know, they had to screw me over with that one. Even though I'm happy about that card... Uh, I took away one of those slots, and Jonathan Banks was final edition, so I have to go 95-99. Okay, Brent Grimes is 160k, so not bad. Actually, not a bad price for a 95 overall uh, quarterback, but he's got 94, 94 speed, 95 excel, 91 awareness, 95 agility, 97 man, 94 zone, 90 press, and 90 player act. All right, so that's nice. Uh, catching is a 77, not bad. Uh, 63 tackle, that's awful. Uh, 85 kick return. Uh, good juke and spin move. Pursuit is an 80, not bad. Uh, let's see here, stamina and injury are pretty good. Spec catch is good, catching traffic is terrible. Hit power is terrible. Uh, but press is good. So all in all, pretty good. A sound uh, 95 overall corner. I don't have any 95s to compare it to, so I gotta compare it to a 92 which he's better than. Except Crow hasn't beaten agility press, or tied in press, and beats him in speed. And I guarantee you Crow has better catching. Yeah, Crow's catching is... Why is that thing down at the... Like, can I not fix that? Oh, there we go. I was going to say, if this thing wasn't coming with it as I went up. Not that it matters, but Crow does have better catching, because this dude's... Catching is a 77, and Crow's an 82, right? Yeah, an 82. But then I can't really compare him against a 97, because they're all better than him. He's got better awareness and better agility only by one uh, to Woodson, but Woodson kind of blows him out of the water in every other category by two or three. But uh, the Grimes is definitely a solid card. It'll probably come down and settle somewhere around 120, 100K. Uh, so if you're in need of a corner, this is not a bad option at a cheap, decently cheap price. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.